crazy. But that's all it's going. I'm getting lost right now. We're gonna go ahead and turn it around. We got a road sign. You know, people trying to survive. Oh, but now it is bad again. Any rats? Dude, this is just. How we doing folks? Welcome back to the channel. Another beautiful, gorgeous, sunny afternoon out here in Los Angeles. Fully charged Suron. You guys know what the plan is. We're gonna go out and explore today. Uh, fun fact, right here is that spot on the 4th of July last year where there was that big fire. I'm gonna put the clip in right here. Uh, so that's where we're at. I'm gonna punch in. You can actually see there's still like a caution tape there. I don't know. I, I think the fire spread to the building a little bit. Ever since then, it's just been uh, abandoned. All right, we got a lot to talk about today. We're about to hit the road. Real quick, less than one month and a couple weeks until the Ultra B giveaway ends. Hicksfam.com, every $1 you spend enters you immediately. The second you buy anything from the website, you're automatically entered. Just put up a bunch of different designs, new shirts, hoodies on the website right now, so check that out. We just hit 300 people entering. Is it time to be filming this? Or is, it's, it's, I, I am shocked at how few people are interested in getting this very nice bike given to them. If you want to get it, then uh, it's right there. Hicksfam.com, you know what to do. First link in the description is where you can find that. Enough talking, let's go. All right, folks, Wednesday, February 21st. We are rolling cameras. Oh, this is from the flood, I think. Maybe. So this is where the fire happened, as uh, demonstrated in that video. That was just shown. Why is this shut off? Oh, it must be that. Must be that power line. I'm guessing. That's why they don't want people like me coming through here, like how I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah. That would make a lot of sense, especially because it was just raining insanely. I'm giving you guys all types of bonus footage today. Uh, so. Every time I take a couple days off from filming, man, it's only been, well, it's been six days. That's kind of a long time, right? Since my last video, uh, it feels like the world just changes dramatically. Uh, it has been a minute since I've last gotten out and filmed. Oh, cool off-road action. So let's check out this street right here. This street has historically just been insane. Last time I came down here was years ago on my BMX, and I saw something that I had to cut out of the video. We got a road sign. Wow. Okay, well, this is going on there. Look, look at this, look at this, check this out. This is a power line. It runs all the way, you guys see it runs all the way to their camp. And it probably goes into somebody's breaker. <laughs> I can't really tell, I already lost track of where it's going. But, uh, oh, I think it's going into that street. Look at that, hold on, wait. We gotta do some, some digging here. It's going into that street lighting high voltage. Whoever crafted that, like whoever, how do they figure that out, right? <laughs> That's kind of crazy to me that they're able to do that. Does anyone in the comments know how they're able to uh, figure out how to make that happen? <laughs> like they just, someone has to have some like deep knowledge of the city's electrical grid in order to do that, right? Is it, or am I, is that something obvious that I just don't know how to do? Anyways, I just want to check that street out real quick. Go ahead and pull up this sidewalk and then off into the street. Well, we will start our day. Okay, so starting off with a little bit of personal news, a little bit of news about myself. I'm sure some of the longtime viewers of my channel remember that uh, my dad had cancer, right? And I say that past tense, had cancer, because right now, as of very recently, he is 100% cancer free. Oh, look at that house, guys. He could have gone straight into a. Uh, Car pulling out right there. Let's uh, go ahead and chill out a little bit. By chill out, I mean just hit an alley. Uh, so yeah, pops is cancer free, man. That is just uh, awesome news. I don't know if anyone else will be as stoked to hear that as I am, or if anyone even knows that my dad had cancer. I made a video. I must have been, dude. Here's another thing. <laughs> I am, I think, as of this year, on my seventh year making YouTube videos. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> That's insane. You know, I don't know how many more I got left in me, but at least like a cool 10 more, right? At least 10. I would love to hit a solid 20. That'd be cool. I would love to hit a solid 20 years making YouTube videos. I had no idea that this would be a full-time job back when I was getting my start. But uh, here we are. You know, here we are. <laughs> still, uh, still cranking away all these years later. Still just getting out and doing what I love doing the most. I was figuring that might be uh, shut down. That looks like a six stair set the bomb. 
There's so many cameras here. This is giving me uh, 1984 vibes. A little George Orwell. Anyways, we are also starting in a brand new location. We're going to end up going towards MacArthur Park right now, which is where we always go. But there's a few things I wanted to check out. This is one. This minivan, I saw a viewer tip me off to this. And it looks like they're here right now. How are you doing? Oh, they're up in there, living in there. That's uh, what's going on there. So we got a couple alleys right here. Sidewalk surfer, there's some kids on the sidewalk and cut right back off. Alright. We're finally getting towards warmer weather in LA, but not quite. We had two intense days of rain that just kind of came up out of nowhere. And I hated. I hate the rain, man. I never thought I'd say that, but I actually am now at a point in my life where I cannot stand rainy days because i can't get out and ride and film i mean i'm sure there's other things i could probably do with my time but all i really want to do is ride my sir on lately and film and give you guys a video to watch and i can't do that when it rains so, i mean i could but i'd probably crash over and over you guys some of y'all slipped somehow i slipped out on the dirt i was just loose packed dirt in downtown la i'm not trying to have that happen uh in the rain it'd probably be catastrophic to be honest i'd probably crash really bad so not trying to do that uh, other than that not too much uh interesting life stuff going on oh super driver ready to kill me let's go easy content uh we're gonna cut through this alley number two we're gonna take this one nice and slow folks a lot of you guys keep saying slow down even more we see you slowing down but you got to go even slower oh let's check this out right here first off is this car abandoned it definitely was in an accident that's for sure Go ahead and let this car get in. Hey, matching. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Dude, that Accord is fire. We've got El Salvador on the spoiler. That goes hard. That's a uh, small house. It's got some writing on it. I don't think anyone's in there right now. They're probably out gathering materials for the rest of the day or a week. Okay, we shot out of that alley, but we're actually going to turn back around and go around and back in it. I'm sorry. Scatterbrain already happening. <laughs> hey, yeah. Woo! So, funny hops. This is the alley I typically enter uh, the city on. We got this little hop right here. I feel like I'm getting a little stronger because it's getting easier to bunny hop this thing. Look, they clean this up. This used to be full graffiti. Look, you can even tell where they painted over the gigantic bomb that was right here. There's still a little bit of trash. We will definitely see rats if we go slow enough right here. There'll be rats crawling around back and forth. Infamous alley right here. There's a couple streets I wanted to show you guys in particular today that we generally skip when I do these MacArthur Park um, Westlake type rides. Look at this shit right here. You know, if you ever stop and pause on these scenes where I just kind of stop and look at something, there's so much you could see that stands out to you. Just like, what is that doing there? And here we just have a big fire. Something was on fire. <laughs> And that uh, guy is just talking to himself and me at the same time. I think he was warning me about something. Maybe to not get too close. We got some big gang taggings right here. So one thing I always point out, even though we're right next to downtown LA, this is one of the most active gang zones in the city. I'd say north of downtown, these are some of the most dangerous neighborhoods you could be riding around in. And one street in particular is uh, especially dangerous. And we will be going up and down it today so I can show you guys what that's about but beyond that we're just gonna go ahead and keep on cooking down we got one of these if you know what to do you know what to do very rare that looks intact too i wonder if that works that looks like you could talk into it but not hear anything maybe uh maybe you could remember c-a-l-l-a-t-t -T? mom in school come pick me up right now please then you hang up without actually paying uh, i think we can get off right here Ooh. we got the street vendors and we got camps right here we keep going down this street. We run straight into MacArthur Park. We will end up there eventually, so we don't need to hot route it going down the street. We're going to go back down the alley and bang a right. There's a couple other alleys in this area that I want to check out as well and just kind of check up on what's going on in the neighborhood. You know, sometimes I like just cruising around out here. I mean, you guys, if you watch my channel, you know this is by far my favorite place to ride is, is just this entire area of MacArthur Park in Westlake. It's just so much fun. I just love it. I don't know what else to say. Ah, that's how they got this. You used to be able to ride down this. That must be much longer ago than I remember it being. But uh, once upon a time, you can go down here. I guess skateboarders probably ruined it for everybody else. How you doing, man? Okay, we got a 
these are very restrictive i wonder what they're really for if someone was like so i'm assuming it's for shoplifting right if someone came out and stole something they could just run through this right i guess it's specifically for vehicles and skateboarders make sure to edit that out or you will get banned from youtube folks every day i see something when i come out around the city that i i have to edit out and i'm sorry that i tease you guys by saying that but i think it's it's interesting just so you know that i did see something that i had to edit out because uh usually when i see something like that it's not even like anything that exciting it's just like okay let me put it this way you will often see uh people doing one of two things in la right you will always see people being naked outside or doing drugs oh i just did not want to ride through this but i also didn't want to get too close to those children uh so that's two things you always see out here you see people naked or doing drugs and i just saw one of those two things i'll let you guess which one in the comments uh oh my god wait a second look at this they they did it they finally did it oh my god they cleaned up the alley the freaking alley look they've cleaned up the trash and the alley's actually traversable we got to go down it dude this is the alley this is the most sketch alley in all of la all the ones i go down through in south central this one takes the cake it is the worst one out of all of them still trying to avoid any liquids down here but it's clean they must have done a sweep out here or something right because i mean it's still kind of sketch but a little barbed wire right there it's still very uh still a lot going on and it's still a hangout spot for people but i mean it's still it's actually traversable now look the sidewalk is actually kind of clean i take it that the rain swept out all the junk that was on the ground and now you can kind of just get through it at least in one piece the risk of you getting shanked coming through here is so high it's ex it's extreme it's extremely high Dope. Hey, tell ya, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, said it's effing dope. You, he is correct. I am inclined to agree with him. This thing is very sick. My Suron is lately the only bike I want to take out and film on. Not necessarily ride. I still ride my other bikes. But as far as filming, yeah, the Suron is just so special, man. I don't know. It's just something about this bike. There's just nothing like it. It's so good for making videos on. It took me a while to really realize that. But once it sank in, I was like, wait a second, why am I even, you know, <laughs> and trust me, I see you guys' comments that are like, yo, please give us a BMX video, please give us this or that. Whenever I do that, I need you guys to know, it will be on my second channel, which uh, is usually linked in my description. I have been linking it lately, so I can keep the only link as the uh, Ultra B. Oh, God, I just read through so much mud. Oh, man. But, uh yeah from now on whenever i do bmx stuff which i have been itching to i will do more of that in the summer trust big trust but uh right now my main channel this channel that you're watching this video on is all sir on baby oh my god dude oh just pumped through that hey this is new look at this this is a new addition to macarthur park very rare they are putting in child's playgrounds that's good so that's step one towards kind of making this park a better place, right? Is attract children and attract families. Because when there's kids here, there's much more of an initiative for the police to keep people doing criminal things away from here, right? Because right now, hey, I mean, take a look at the scene right now. There's people fishing, which is absolutely insane. I'm sure they just catch and release because why would the hell could we, well, I don't understand who would want to eat a fish from a cartoon park. That's insane. So we can go, we can safely assume that they're not eating the fish from here, right? But it's kind of, you know, it's, it's nice. There's people, you know, there's some people sitting around and chilling and it is a park, right? And take a look, let's go ahead and stop. One thing I've almost never done here. Let's stop and look around, right? This is really a beautiful park. You have amazing views of downtown LA at sunset. This is one of the nicest parks to be at in LA. The views are insane. So, I mean, it is a nice park. It's just ruined by people here that come here to do drugs and and you know other criminal things and the ducks they are they ain't going nowhere <laughs> they always own this place so anyways i would love to see this park return to some form of glory which it has uh strayed from for quite some time but uh hey thank you very much and right. yeah, but it's just it's still it's still a ways away from that like um i don't remember if some of y'all were watching 
back when I was recording, they did a sweep here. So they completely swept the park out and they shut it down on both sides. They reopened this side and it was nice for a while, but it immediately just turned into crap again, man. It just, like, I mean, literally within like a month, it was actually worse than it was originally when they reopened this park. It was bad. It was really bad. But, uh, you know, now it's kind of at a spot where it's, it's definitely getting better, but it's just like, if I had kids, I would not bring them here. That's a, that's pretty much the most blunt way I could put it right now. If I had a family, I would not even be considering coming to MacArthur Park with them. Not even in the slightest. What's going on, man? Nice bike. So, I mean, that's kind of my opinion on it. It could be at a place where that's possible though. Like there's so many families that live in these Westlake neighborhoods. I mean, it should be that way, right? It should be a place where you can come and hang out with your fam. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I know, I know a lot of you guys are watching on TV, so you can't comment, but uh, if you think, uh, if you're on a device where you can't comment, let me know what you think about that. I think it's good that they're building a, a playground though. That's a, it's a step in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? One thing about Echo Park, that was another park that's uh, it's famous, right? That's a super famous park. And it had a huge homeless problem for a long time. And it had playgrounds and all the things that would attract families and kids. And it, was, it wasn't enough to fix the homeless problem out there. But uh, they just did a, a sweep where they didn't let up. You know, they kept, they kept kicking them out when they came back. Uh, anyone who came to camp there would immediately get kicked out. So they kind of took care of it over there. And I think they got the point like, yeah, you guys can't stay here. There's plenty of places to kind of shackle up when you're homeless in LA. And that's a bigger problem in itself that I just am not going to touch on because I don't really have the anything to, to say about that. Anyways, we take this tour too. This alley is destroyed again. This is another one that I said last time. They cleaned it up, oh, but now it is bad again. Any rats? Dude, this is just... Whew, I'm not even breathing right here. I'm holding my breath while I come down here. This is where you got to disinfect the tires after you come up out of here. Anyways, let's go ahead and pull through onto the next alley. This is the one that we came through last time and it was on fire. That's another dude. I mean, at this point, I've come through the street so many times. I have a memory on each block of something happening. Isn't that crazy? Like everywhere you go, I have a memory of some crazy stuff going down. And right here, there was a fire right here, right there. Yeah, that was where the fire was. And there's still, hey, how are you? There's still, uh, there's still a few kids. This was all full. So they're doing their shuffle. They're doing their shuffle again. That's why I like to come out here. It's interesting to see how this part of the city changes pretty much every single time that I come out here. We get around here. I think we're good. Uh, okay, we're riding over it. We got one more alley to surf down. All right, let's keep going. Dude, this is completely bone stock Suron. It just continues to impress me every single time I bring it out, man. I'm starting to get to that point where I think I want to do some upgrades to this bike. Namely the brakes. Anyone who's ever owned a Suron knows that the brakes stock are just, they're pretty bad, but these ones, I put fresh pads in and they're okay. They do stop. They fully bite to where, you know, they'll lock up, but the tires are so trash that they just kind of slip and slide across. So that's the next problem I got to deal with. How you doing? Oh, we're stuck. We are locked. All right, if I was getting trapped right now, it'd be all over. <laughs> I'm completely stuck right here. Let's do some. Oh. I'm gonna ride slow to get this off our tires. So this is another street that's pretty hectic. I'm gonna show you guys what it's like right now. Take a look at the right. Just uh, you know, people trying to survive. How you doing? Good man. All right, thank you. Look at the game tag we got right here. It's just a little bit, of, a little bit of something everywhere you look. A little bit of game tagging right here. Look at all these trash cans. That is a, a mass of trash cans right there. But uh, we're gonna explore this neighborhood a little bit more. Trying to get in more areas that we haven't been in recently. Oh, that was another hanging power line. We're gonna cross the street right here. I came through here, so this is how much shuffling this little neighborhood has gone through. Uh, this is a, a very active area, right? Grandview and to the left, I think is uh, Olympic. So we're on, Wilshire, we're on Grandview and Olympic. This area, last time I came through here, it was this street right here. We'll see if it's still as crazy as it was back in the day, but we made a left right here and the whole sidewalk was taken over. 
now it's completely clear i mean hey that's just how it goes out here folks i don't know what to say Hold on, we got to clean the lens i just rode through a bunch of mud i'm gonna make sure that we're not i have dirt from that mud i rode through on my sunglasses so i assume that it's also on my gopro but you never know we're gonna go down here a little bit and then we're gonna double back so this is one of these police these police things i don't even know what they're called but you see up there they got a bunch of cameras in array and a speaker so this is a police i'm pretty sure they live stream from this so they can see what's going on out of these cameras at any given moment that just says that this is a high crime area whenever you see one of these in la it's got this blue blinking light sometimes it has a red blinking light as well till it so it like actually looks like a police thing uh that means you're in a place where crime is going down all the time so that's a that's a little bit of a insider info for you but they're watching everything including me hey guys well, they're probably watching me right now anyways let's go ahead and bang this left we're gonna go down this street through this stop traffic start to the surround because we're gonna breeze right through it and look at this this is one of the most famous intersections of all of la and it looks like an absolute wasteland wow trash just strewn across the ground what do we got here someone's cart i don't know if these are tents i think they're just yeah there's a couple tents i don't know if someone's in them but we just had big rain so it's hard to say if someone's in these right now they could have abandoned them you know a lot of the times people will just abandon their tents when uh they decide that they don't want to be there anymore and now we're coming across traffic we gotta pop up Ooh. Ooh. crazy but that's all that's going on right here beautiful f-150 parts amongst the chaos that's just la in a nutshell i mean it would be a little bit more poetic if it was like a lambo or something right or like a ferrari just parked in the chaos but you know is what it is oh sorry excuse me anyway so we are going to cut back we're in k-town right now so this is um an interesting part of town that i rarely traverse through but it's got a lot of weird diagonals like as you can see right now we're in backed up traffic going in a diagonal direction which is uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and turn around you know oh, here's another bit of news this is one thing i really wanted to tell you guys I got bit by a dog the other day. <laughs> so I'm laughing about it because it was funny, but there's a lot of situations where that wouldn't be funny. The one time I wasn't rolling my camera, I was on a bike ride out with Dan the man. If he sees this video, he's going to laugh because he's going to know what I was talking about. The dog was about this size right here. Like these dogs, and I am having deja vu because it was exactly like this. It was some small dogs and they just started chasing after me. And one of them bit my ass, dude. One of them bit me right here. The, 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 it, was like a, it was like a playful bite. You know, it was kind of like a, come here. Like, not a real, like, uh, I'm trying to mess you up bite, but it was like, you know, enough to make me worried. It didn't break the skin, anything like that. Hey, how you doing? But, um, you know, I was, uh, I'm getting lost right now. We're gonna go ahead and turn it around. Ugh. Yeah, we're not gonna get involved in them uh, gentlemen's activities whatsoever. They can go ahead and keep doing what they're doing. Anyways. So the bite didn't break the skin. I didn't go to urgent care. I probably should have, but I don't know. I was reading online and they said if the bite doesn't break the skin and you don't see any type of bruising or rashes, you're probably good. Will I end up regretting it? Maybe. I do have a video that I got on my phone immediately after it started happening. So I have like enough identity of like if I needed to do something about it to where I could probably figure out who the person was. I didn't get her name. It was a lady that had two dogs um i didn't get a name i didn't get any type of information really about her but i have her face very clearly on video i have the dogs on video and i have her reaction to me pulling my camera out and say hey your dog just bit me and she's like what and she tried to pretend that she didn't see it which i thought was hilarious because i was like dude you know what just happened you like we were like, are you kidding me like she tried to pretend that the dog didn't bite me but then she kind of gave in i don't know the clip is crazy i'm not going to be posting it or sharing it as far as I know for the time being in any videos, but I haven't. So, you know, I don't know. I finally got bit by a dog, folks. It wasn't by a crazy pit bull and it wasn't in the hood. It was actually in one of the nicest neighborhoods in LA. We were in, um, uh, what's it called? We were in, I guess you could say Palos Verdes. We were kind of going towards there on a bike ride. I remain more like, uh, um, what's it called? Um, what is the word I'm thinking of? It's a city by san pedro yeah san pedro it's kind of like more by there i guess you could say but uh yeah so that happened i don't know <laughs> it's, it's pretty much the opposite 
of how I would ever think it would go down, right? I was on my bike and I was passing through, and this time is it was like a bridge, right? It's like a bridge that goes over like uh, it's like a bridge that doesn't even need to exist because it's just there, right? There's there's no body of water that it's going over. But I'm riding over the bridge and I'm looking at the lady, I'm looking at the dogs. I do not expect to be bit whatsoever. The dogs are chill, nice dogs. They're like, I don't want I don't think they're Pomeranians, but they're like nice fancy dogs, right? Like the small, expensive looking dogs that you see people with. And uh, one of them just freaked out and saw me and I saw a posture, like, you know, our dogs eat that little posture. And then it, sp it just sprung at me and bit me. I was like, God, what the? <sighs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's something that went down. A very unexpected uh, turn of events. We almost just rolled through a huge, fresh pile of poop. This is just crazy. I'm gonna start uh, shredding this way for now. Also smelled a, a mysterious smell coming from burning fire that uh, is telling me that it's starting to starting to get that time of day where you know things are things are you know the freaks come out at night this place turns into gotham city that's what my friend called uh downtown la uh my buddy flacco i don't know he doesn't watch my videos but if you ever see this i thought that was hilarious he called downtown la and its surrounding areas gotham city and i find that to be extremely fitting it's very accurate it's very descriptive of what uh it's like to be around here after dark it's just it's crazy man it's absolute uh, you know, that, it's, it's Gotham City. That's the best way you can, anyone can put it. It's just dangerous and sketch and, hey man, I sure ain't Batman, but I can get up on and out of there like you can. <laughs> I guess you can say that. <laughs> We're just threading past the police. We're gonna hit the stairs and hit our reverse route coming out of MacArthur Park right now. Oh, loose ball. The dog barking, jeez, dude. <laughs> you gotta have, be watching out for about 50 different things at the same time when you come through here. Hey, how you doing? Oh, poor thing. I wish I could help her if I didn't have to take care of my bike as well. All right, let's get off the sidewalk and go ahead and pop this way. We already did the park route, so look at that. They got up there and got some tagging. Look, that must have taken some work. They got way up there. There's a lot going on right here. Hey, how are you? Okay. This is one of the hot spots of MacArthur Park where it's just, uh, it's just crazy, you know? It's just crazy. All right, where do we go from here? We kind of did a, a sick route. We can go reverse, dude. I can't believe that alley is finally accessible. That's kind of all I want to do. We got some interesting graffiti right there. I think we're going to try and hit that alley in the reverse route. It's okay. It's a little bit more packed than it was before. So we may just speed through it. Holy crap. Hey, hey, excuse me. If there is any place in LA that you could get stabbed, I'd say it's here. <laughs> I just kind of shredded through it. Okay, that is gonna be the last time I probably ever hit that alley, so I hope you guys enjoyed because uh, it ain't happening again anytime soon. <laughs> that's for sure. I think that's the one and done. Holy crap, okay. We're cooking with some steam right now. City is getting packed. Everybody's off of work. And uh, all right, we're hitting the reverse rod up this alley next. Let's just send it. Oh. oh man. The ability that this bike has to just shred silently is matched by nothing that exists on this planet. Nothing, absolutely nothing. I will, I will die on that hill. Look, it's a mini R8. Those things are so cute. Also, we got a crashed car right here. How did this happen? I wonder if it was crashed by being parked here. That's what I always think when I see these cars parked in LA on the middle of the road and they just crash. Like, what's gonna happen to it next? Eventually they'll probably get towed, but that's some other camps right there. Dude, I have like a rashness in my throat from breathing the air out here. That's how, that's how screwed up the air is in LA, man. It's just, uh, it's just crazy. All right, we're gonna try and, uh, oh, we're in a traffic jam. Oh, I'm getting back into. Let's see, is it just gonna hit me? Yeah. Yo! I'm behind you. You're good. Okay, it's okay. He's already been in an accident too. I ain't testing my luck today. <laughs> Gracias. A little wheelie practice. 
<laughs> Dude, I still suck at Willie so bad. It's just. Oh, there's kind of. I can't. I just cannot balance him. That was kind of it. All right. He's got his parking spot. We're good to go. Yeah, get up on out of here. Oh, back home for the day. All right. Mobbing. Ooh, what did that scooter? That thing looks kind of sick. Look at bro go. Hey, that's a nice scooter. Why are you running from me? <laughs> I'm just trying to talk about the scooter. <laughs> Interesting. All right, we'll leave that one to. Uh... Oh, he's looking back. Yeah, I wonder why. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get up on out of here, man. Coming up, third street bills. There go the cars. We I got this insane collection, bro. These cars are just nuts. Nice little ride in today, and we beat most of the traffic, which is just great. And there's a cop. Looks like he just spawned into a call or something that happened. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and keep moving. <laughs> we ain't got time to stop today. We are on a roll. Wow, what a beautiful evening, dude. Holy crap. It's so nice out today. Look at that perfect golden sunset. Anytime there's rain, the next day the sunset is just pristine, and today's no different. This is why we live in LA. That was a quick hot one, folks. I just need to get back in action for you guys. We'll have more bangers coming up later this week. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure you head over to hicksfam.com. Every dollar spent enters you to win the best Saran that they make, the Ultra B. I'm giving one away. April 15th, don't miss out, don't be late, get in, just join. I just want everyone who watches to at least get in that contest, man. You never know, you might win, genuinely. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Be safe out there. See you guys again very soon. Peace out.